Welcome back. Um, health message number two. What I'm going to do really again is just remind you some simple um, protocols, procedures, information, whatever you want to call it, which I have found when I've applied them in my life have been very useful. And the wonderful thing is it hasn't cost me anything. Just to remind you, my last message was about controlling your thoughts. And just to um, recap on that, simple equation that I have. Your thoughts, T, leads to your B, your behaviour, which equals your reality or your results or your outcomes. And if you're not happy with that, then please change your thinking. We all know of wonderful, beautiful people on this planet who couldn't control their state of mind and as a result turned to pharmaceutical drugs or narcotic drugs and now they're dead. People like um, Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, Heath Ledger, who was the other recent one, Michael Jackson, uh, they've all done it um, uh, and they've all curtailed their life. So my first message which hopefully you um, listen to and were able to take some aspects from it, but remember there's three main things that go on when you listen to somebody or you watch somebody or you feel something. First of all you're going to delete a lot of what's being stated. You're also going to generalize the message or the information that's being given and then you're also going to distort it and that's what we do when we watch things so just be aware of that because sometimes the message that I'm trying to put across may not be fully heard or understood. So my second one is remember how to breathe like a baby. Now isn't that such a simple thing? Of course you're breathing because you're listening and watching this but how you breathe and to the depth of what you breathe will determine how you feel. So an example, and hopefully you can see this, literally down here, two thirds of my lungs are here and one third is here. And if you watch and just be conscious of this, that when you, most people breathe, they become what we call chest breathers. So they're only filling this part of their lungs. We've got two thirds down there. So, so practice, and some people find this very challenging to actually breathe and inflate the lower part of your lungs. And then if you want, fill the upper part. So by breathing fully and deeply, I can guarantee you, you will not be able to have an argument or a contention with another when you breathe fully and deeply. Don't believe me? Give it a go. So breathe like a baby. Remember, if you just look at a baby, you don't have to teach a baby how to breathe. It just breathes rhythmically. Find the right pace that's right for you. <sighs> breathe in quickly and maybe out slowly. Um, it's a case of finding what works for you. For me, I like to breathe in nice and slowly and then to breathe out a little bit more quickly. So I might take my, you know, four or five seconds breathing in and then I might take about two or three seconds breathing out. But when I'm conscious of that, I might then change it and just see how I feel. So whether you're sitting driving your car, sitting at your computer desk for a little post-it note, B for breathe, anything like that, find it useful. Just do something different and I will guarantee you it will energize you. I mean, one of the main reasons, aside from the chemicals, and there's over 4,000 of them, including a, a class one drug, or a class A drug called sugar, which believe it or not is uh, four times more addictive than crack cocaine, actually in cigarettes. So as well as the 4,000 chemicals, what actually relaxes people is the breathing, because these people, the people that smoke, and I form no judgments, are actually breathing fully and deeply and that's what calms them down. It isn't the 4,000 chemicals in there. But, oh, that's causing all sorts of problems. Well, how do I know? Because I've done so many um, physical assessments with people and anyone who's had a cigarette and had a blood pressure taken, their blood pressure is always high. So it's obviously stressing their body. But what relaxes people is breathing. And when I um, gave a, a live um, radio presentation on BBC Radio Cumbria, actually in four minutes I had this person lower their blood pressure, even their uh, diastolic pressure, by ten points in four minutes just by reminding them how to breathe like a baby. Now as we age, just to reiterate again, we lose that and we start to become chest breathers. So when you become conscious of that, just practice breathing fully into your stomach. Now if you lie flat on the floor, you'll probably find you can find it a lot easier because you haven't got the diaphragm and everything else pushing down on you. But try also practicing that seated or even standing. To breathe. Two thirds of your lungs there, one third there, and fill it completely. And tell me, how do you feel? Yeah? Just practice it. And the more you practice it, the more you get good at. And you are controlling part of your physiology. And to some extent, you'll also be controlling your biochemistry by remembering how to breathe like a baby. 
It's simple stuff, it costs you absolutely nothing, and you can practice it right now and improve your state of health, your whole well-being, your whole circadian rhythms. Just practice it. My name's Magnus Moyner. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy your day. Bye for now.